before all that, if you take a look at our sofa right now, it might seem like we've opened a crash <laughs> for newborn babies. <laughs> Who would trust us with their children? Certainly but not us. If you look extremely closely, you might be able to spot that these are actually super lifelike dolls. Yeah, they're known as reborn dolls, which don't just look like real babies. They actually also weigh the same. They've got real hair. Some of them <clears> can even have a heartbeat. Uh, we're joined now by their creator, Jane Seddon. Good morning. Morning, Jane. Morning. How are you? I'm oh, good, thank you. So tell me, first of all, you, I mean, you can't make these dolls and not love dolls. So where did your love of dolls come from? Uh, well, I didn't really have many dolls when I was a child. Uh, I literally, I think, had one um, because I was oh uh, one of five children and four of them were boys. So OK. Um, you know, then it was kind of everything was handed down, you know, that you got as gifts for Christmas mm -hmm. and birthday. So, mm -hmm. um, and I had a friend who had a really lovely doll's pram and a beautiful baby doll. Mm. And um, I always wanted one, never got one. So yes. um, when I, um, I discovered porcelain dolls to begin with. Yeah. Oh, yes. And... <laughs> um, I was a stay-at-home mum because I had two sons that were quite ill. OK. Um, so I then started to make porcelain dolls and sell them. And, um, and that grew into quite a big business. Um, and I used to supply 40 shops all over wow. the world. So, um, you know... There you go. These Find aren't something you love and do it really well. The, the, the extraordinary thing is that these aren't, these aren't porcelain, though, are they? No. And I've just picked this one. I haven't, the, the, the weight of this, this doll mm -hmm. feels like a real, real baby. It's been a I mean, long time for you, Ben. It, it has been a really long time, but you do feel like you're holding something very precious yeah. when I'm holding... Yeah, they're the weighted doll. specially to feel like a newborn baby. Do you mind if I go around for a newborn? You're going to go I and want find a, a newborn. real newborn. A so new, how I want a newbie. You, how did you suddenly... So you, you shifted from porcelain to these reborn... Yeah, well, I, I, I did porcelain for about 15 Amazing, years and then that kind of, you know, became um, less desirable. Oh, right, OK. And then um, somebody in America was making uh, these reborn dolls from doll... from baby dolls that they would take apart and then paint them to look like a real baby. So initially when it started, there were no kits or anything right, like okay. that. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was literally taking apart baby dolls and that's why they're called Reborns. I see. And then that kind of, we heard about it here in the UK and because I was already making dolls already, yeah. um, I then started to make um, the Reborn dolls. I mean, they're so... Re look at my thumb. I'm no, doing this help, you and the, I don't know why I'm doing... The workmanship like... on this is absolutely exquisite. You've done an amazing thing. And I think that's one of the things is that they are a little bit eerie as well until you yeah. put your hands on them and you can sort of realise... And there is something about them, maybe it's because we've seen films and bits and pieces where dolls come... But they feel <laughs> so lifelike, but they're not. What yeah. do you say to people that say, oh, it's a, little, it's a bit sinister, it's a bit weird? Well, what I normally say is um, once you get to, um, like, look at the doll yeah. and feel it, you will change your mind, really, because um, the feel of them, um, it's got a good feel about it, okay. and that's why they're good for um, children with autism or adults with autism or dementia, um, Alzheimer's and things like that, because um, they produce, like, a hormone in your body that... <gasps> Is a feel-good hormone. Can you feel it? And it's, yes, um, you know, it gives you confidence. Like I, I um, made a doll for a young man. Yeah. Um, in his twenties, he yeah. had autism, quite severe. But he found that when he carried the baby with him, um, if he went on the bus or whatever, um, it just gave him the confidence to go be. out on public transport. Wow. Yeah. You know, so. Um, I, I do have to say, so so when I saw them being... When we were rehearsing mm. this morning with the director, Nick, we were rehearsing, and I was like, oh, that's very... But weirdly... Holding them feels, feels different. It feels... Holding them feels completely different, yeah. I totally agree. Completely, and the weight completely the, different. Yeah. But then you can... You can you, you, you can make them smell of babies. You yes. can also put heartbeats in them as well, like yes. properly bespoke them for... And breathing mechanisms. So they'll breathe up and down. Yeah. Uh, what's the... I mean, I... 
they are beautifully made. What, how much does one of these cost? And what's the sort of what's the basic Price. model and what's the most expensive? Uh, well, they start from around about 200, 250 upward yeah. um, from there. And what you would, know, what would be the top end? Thousands. thousands. So a breathing mechanism and a heartbeat, that's going to get more, all the more expensive. Um, yeah, but it's, it's also to do with some of the dolls are limited edition, so... Yeah. Um, you can't buy them again. You can't buy the kits again. Right. right. And that makes them really valuable. But they've got, like, so, hair and everything. Yes. How do you do the hair? Um, that's done with goat's hair, angora goats. Right. I've got four angora goats. Oh, you've got your own goats? Yes. So you keep the I goats use. for the hair for the yes. baby, for the, yeah. for the dolls? And we dye it and, you know, make it for our dolls. So, um, yeah, it's... And and, it, and and it's an extra. You, you've been as you, you've been able to make, as we were saying, this hobby of yours mm -hmm. into a really successful business. Yes, it means yeah. you're to look after your boys and work from home and create something that you're really passionate about. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So it's so, and each one comes with their own certificate. Yes, they you normally come with a certificate. A birth certificate. They come with a certificate from the actual uh, kit itself. Um, you know, so it proves its authenticity. Yeah. And then um, we actually provide a kit, uh, uh, sorry, a, a certificate um, with the doll's name, and you can choose the doll's name and date of birth, which people like, um, because sometimes it's... Um, we've made them specially for them, for a specific, you know, maybe a baby that they've lost or oh. a baby that they... Um, a child that they want to remember what they were like when they were a baby. Because oh, wow. it does, it passes in the blink of an eye. You like, know. there is a thing where it, where you do, you you forget, and then you remember. It's so weird, you remember then. Jane, they're amazing. I, I And yeah. we had our, we all had our own preconceived ideas of what this was going to be 100%. like. hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Like they were going to be a little strange and eerie, but holding them... strange. Yeah. And they yeah. are, and you just sit, you can tell they're not like my two because this one's very <laughs> happy and content <laughs> and, and hasn't soiled itself yet. And I've got two boys that are still doing that now as teenagers. I'd and love they to don't dress cry. Sam like that. <laughs> <laughs> He'd love it, right? <laughs> he really would. Jane, thank, thank you, you for bringing very them in. Much. Thank just you. Extraordinary. You're and they are beautifully made as yeah, well. They beautiful. really are. Thank, thank you. Lovely thank to meet you. you.